Go ahead, get us a reaction, chat. We need to see some little gameplay, man. We're gonna react to it ourselves, bro. Welcome back to another NBA 2K25 courtside report. Today, we're breaking down. It's a feature gameplay from new G in NBA 2K25, y'all. Okay. All things new in my NBA mode. I'm Chris Manning, and I'm joined today by producer Jeff Schrader on the mode, who's gonna okay, discuss yeah. all these exciting new things with the fans. One of our favorite features is my NBA eras. You know, we added it 2K23. We got four new eras. Hopefully, what I'm looking for, bro, is actual gameplay to see how the courts look, bro. Last year, we added the LeBron era, and this year, for 2K25, we got the Curry era. You can do it yourself. You can join KD, Curry, and the Warriors, or try and top them with LeBron and the Cavs. Yeah, I can't wait to jump into the eras. What are some new features that fans could expect? We've completely re revamped how you can expand or contract the league, both in the modern era or even if you go back to any of the past eras. Now, you can have any team size. Hey, yeah, that fade was... Whoa, he did an early? Bro hit an early, chat. It's from 12 to 36. Harry Bird hit an early, chat. <laughs> you can actually completely grow or shrink the league as you like it going from year to year. You're going to be... Oh, chat. I, ho I hope this is how online look, bro. Like, look how small they look on the court, bro. Like, look at the spacing. This is how I hope 2K25, 2K25 is right here, chat. Look at how small they are, bro. Look at how small they are. Like, that give me, like, like older 2K vibes, bro, when I see this right here. Because it's like now how 2K20, like all the next-gen 2Ks was, 2K21, uh, next-gen 2K22, next-gen 23 and 24, it was like... The player court ratio was so crazy. When somebody was 6'10 and 6'8, you can literally see the difference, bro. Like, they looked it way bigger. Like, a 6'10 compared to a 6'8 looked it way bigger. Compared to, like, if you think of, like, 17, right? If you think of 2K17, y'all remember the the, the point, the uh the 6'10.4s? They used to ISO and dribble. And then you think of the 6'8.4s? It was like you couldn't really see the difference because the courts were so like bigger compared to 2K25, 2K24. Like same thing with 18, 19, and 20. Like you couldn't really tell a difference between a 6'9 and a 6'8 and a 6'7. Like you could, but it wasn't like a crazy difference compared to how it is now. Like now on 24, bro, 6'7s almost look like guards compared to 6'6, 6'9s or 16s, bro. They look like guards. You would think a 6'7 was a guard due to the simple fact how how the player to court ratio was, bro. Like, if you really pay attention to this, right? Look at Curry height compared to Kevin Love. We all know Kevin Love is like six, what, 6'10, six, 6'11? Six, and look at Curry. You can't really tell. You can tell he's short, but you can't really tell that he's like. To year. You're gonna you know what I'm saying? Like, that small. Like, on 24, this dude would look like a giant, bro. Draymond would have been able to take up most of the court. So they I, I kind of like this the way that they going with this with this right here, though. I ain't gonna lie. Be able to like customize that. it to degrees that you've never been able to do before. I like that. Hopefully it's like that online too. We took the standard Mmm. I think they gonna add like I ain't gonna lie. This 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 man. If if you doing this right here in my gym, bro, where you walking through buildings, bro, in my gym, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We might got GTA Six on Two K Twenty Five, boy. We might be able to walk through every building. I ain't gonna lie to you. Standard role playing experience, and we just made it so awesome that you can actually go and choose your backstory. For example, maybe you want to be an ex player, maybe you want to be a savant that skips it with spreadsheets, or maybe you're a closer that you know that your battlefield is the boardroom. From there, you get to choose your attributes. Do you want to be really skilled at helping your players on the court, maybe improving your offense or defense, or do you want to have charisma off the charts so that you can wheel and deal and get all those picks and trades that you want? Finally, you get to choose your perks, where we have a ton of completely new abilities that'll really revamp and change how you play. Now, one thing that we actually think is really cool is player expression. So like, what do you think is the most important thing when you're building a team? 
for me, it's getting scores, of course. You know, I gotta score the bucket, so I go after the high scoring players. We got badges for you. We got a badge that'll improve your outside shooting. We got badges that'll also improve uh, your team depth so that everyone gets a little bit hotter. Maybe you wanna pick the X player so that at level 12, you can get a perk. Everyone's on fire in elimination games. Really make sure that you can close them out. This sounds pretty dynamic. So how can a player grow in the mode using these new features? Great question. So the old staple for my GM was that you'd be given tasks. Now that's been transferred to a conversation where say you have the team governor. He tells you, hey, I want to swap out all the starters. It's now up to you to decide how you navigate through that conversation. Afterwards, maybe you agree, maybe you don't. You get experience, you level up. When you level up, you get more attribute points to spend and more perks that you can get until eventually you can reach the cap of 20 and you're gonna be unstoppable. Okay, so how do these conversations and interactions take place this year in 2K25? So eventually when someone has a conversation that they wanna have with you, they'll give you a little notification and you actually- Look how they let you walk through all this, y'all. Look how they let y'all walk through all this, bro. This is crazy. No lie, bro. 2K25 might be GTA 6. Boy, I see y'all. Notification, and you actually go inside the MyGM building. It's a free roam environment. Go over, have a conversation, and it really makes it feel like you're in the role-playing experience, that you are the GM. Last season, the NBA introduced the in-season tournament. I loved watching that. This year, it's being rebranded as the NBA Cup. So what can we expect from the NBA Cup in NBA 2K25? One of the cool things about the NBA Cup going forward is that it's going to be able to work with schedule generation. Before, it's really awesome, but it's so complex to make. So we would basically just have to take the schedule and freeze it. Now for next year, we're actually going to be able to do a little bit more. Mmm, look at the courts, bro. Or generate different schedules. It look like it's way got way more space, bro. Generate different. Hey, that's kind of. Hey, I'm ready for that K, bro. Let me know if y'all ready for that K, bro. I'm ready for that K. Schedule will freeze it now for next year. We're actually gonna be able to do a little bit more generate. Bro, why he run like Brian? Bro, why he bro? Oh, who he don't run, bro? Let me find out. They fix the motion styles, y'all. Why he dribble like Brian? Look at his feet when he walk around the court. To... Look. Do a little bit more. Look at it. Or generate different schedules. Bro, run like, bro, I know I ain't tripping chat. Right, maybe, I, maybe I just want that 2K too bad, bro. Maybe I want it too bad, bro. But bro, running like Bron James. As the years go on, be able to change up groups a little bit. So we think it's going to be even more engaging. That wraps up our NBA 2K25 courtside report. I'm pumped. I know the fans are pumped. Jeff, thanks so much for sharing all the knowledge about this new mode. You got it. And again, thanks to all the fans. We couldn't do this without them. We put in so much passion and effort just because we know that they're going to love it. Can't wait to play it. And remember, for all of you out there, this is where your journey begins to building the next great dynasty. I ain't going to lie. I want to go back and look at that one more time, bro. Maybe I just really want that K2. It's so bad. complex to make. Maybe so, I want that K2 bad. We would bad, basically Jack. just have to take the schedule and freeze it. Now for next year, we're actually going to be able to, to do a little, little bit more, generate different. Bro, really out here moving like Brian James, huh? Where that other gameplay go, bro? It's this right here for me, chat. Bro, y'all don't know how big this is, bro. Y'all ever, y'all ever like play 2K, bro? And you was just like in a corner. You, 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 you had this much space, chat. You had this much space, and you shot the ball. You're gonna be able to customize it to do. And he still contested. See, he didn't just shoot the ball off the rip. One, he playing with Kevin Love, so he moving mad slow. And he got Draymond on defense. You're, you're he go to the he moved to the side, do a little stutter step back to the three. Draymond still it. barely get there, and he push Y. Right? Let me show you how much, what that's gonna change on 2K, bro. Y'all ever caught the ball right here on any previous 2K, bro? Y'all ever caught the ball year to year right here, and somebody was in the paint. And they just Superman jump straight to you, bro. I hope that's not an animation no more, bro. How the courts looking? I hope that's not. I hope that's not in the game no more, bro. Cause think about it. They took Challenger out the game. They took multiple badges out the game too, bro. They took multiple badges out the game. They took t Challenger out the game. They took a lot of the old badges out the game, bro. So hopefully all that is is not in the game no more. People could just Superman jump. All the way to you from the three-point line to the paint. 
Hey, I don't know, man. Comment down below, man. Let me know if y'all ready for that NBA 2K25, man. Me, personally, I'm super duper ready. Um, Probably going to pre-order it real, real soon, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited, man. Let me know if y'all excited. Hopefully, it's a good 2K. Um, so far, everything looking good, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. Everything looking good so far, bro. Like we might got a decent 2K on our hands, cause that's all everybody really want is like a decent game, bro. And then they can just, you know, what I'm saying, like keep it decent from there. Like from there, just keep it decent from there, bro. Like don't change it up too much. You know what I'm saying? Kind of how they deal with with 19 and 20. 19 and 20 was. Then it was almost about the same games, bro. Like, only thing that was really different between 19 and 20, in my opinion, which everybody got their own opinion, was the dribbling, bro. Was the dribbling. Besides that, I think 2K19 and 2K20 was the same game, bro, in my opinion, bro. I think the only thing that was different was the dribbling, bro. But that's going to be the end of the video, man. I appreciate everybody staying to the end of the video. Catch y'all in the next one.